Although Subway is a large, multinational company, the focus on family has always been a part of Subway culture, and that's encouraged generations of entrepreneurs to stay in the system and help it grow. We have a lot of franchise owners who've been in Subway 10, 15, 20, 25 years, 30 years, and before you know it, these people start having kids. And now we have a lot of second generation people in Subway, and it's really a big force. These, these folks are tremendous. They really know the business well, they enjoy the business, they've got lots of experience, and they're setting goals of their own. We'll meet four families with second generation members involved in their franchises. They're just a sampling of the thousands of families in the Subway system. My father was a barber in Brookfield, Connecticut, about an hour away from uh, Milford, where Subway started. And he was cutting the hair of a gentleman who sold franchises for Subway. And uh, shortly thereafter, he went to Milford, met with Fred DeLuca, and uh, purchased the store. I joined in 1981. There were, at that point, 11 stores in Central Florida. Uh, and I've been doing that ever since. Our parents were the first ones who entered the subway system and we naturally got to the subway system because of that. If you really look at the minorities who, who make it to the United States or, or any other country in Europe, uh, the easiest thing for minorities to do is to go get a franchise. Subway offered opportunities for minorities where they can come in and, and make a decent living, support their children and continue on with that. I was born and raised in Iran. I'm a first generation immigrant. I came to the United States to go to college. Started in the company in 1981 when there were only 154 stores. I'm a franchisee. I have three stores. I just got my first store back in December, and then my second in February, and then my third in June. And I do local store marketing and graphic design work in South Carolina for the franchisees. I really didn't think they'll ever get involved in the business. It was one of these things that you, as a parent you think if you push them towards it, they would rebel. So I never ever suggested, I never talked about it. So that's how I end up with having, uh, being a boss one day and next day I have two bosses. <laughs> that's not true at all. <laughs> they say it's not true, but I'm telling you. We've been uh, in Subway since 1985. Uh, we got into Subway because my wife and I wanted to have a business that we could start from scratch. At that time, we bought 12 stores. And I got involved back in 1985-86, and back then I wasn't uh, too useful in making any business decisions, but uh, they put me in the, the cleaning crew. Got paid a dime an hour, I believe. I made sandwiches in the beginning. In high school, I worked in the stores, working late shifts, you know, when I got out of class. Our family is so close-knit, and that was one of the reasons I like Subway. And if you ever talk to Fred, he'll tell you how much it is a family to him, it's a family to us, and it fit what we wanted. By owning your own Subway, you can be that one or two-store owner and be very involved in it and have your family, your parents, your nieces and nephews work there. We were always in Subway because we knew that was our living and our family had to make it. I had an engineering job, and I would go lunch at our father's store. I would hop in the line, in my white shirt and start helping customers. By the time I walk out, I got mustard mayonnaise, you know, and, and my... And smelling people, like, yeah, smelling yeah, like smelling like sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, smelling like the bread. And the, and the guys are asking me, you're a sloppy eater. Little did they know, I just worked the subway for the, you know, one hour of my lunch break. I'm one of six kids and all of us are in subway. But uh, of course, we all have children now and those children have reached working age. And uh, quite a few of my nieces and nephews are working for us. It's a great system to work for because there's not a lot of pretense that you're working in a big company where the political scene is what matters. And we found that if you work hard, you follow the rules, you learn from each other, you can go a long ways. Especially when I was younger, I thought that everybody was like my dad's age around here and that, you know, to have that many stores you know, most people, it was something I couldn't really relate to, but now I can kind of see how it can grow so quickly. Subway's motto is not to be satisfied where we're at. We're always trying to strive to the next level. And that's what it gets me energized, is because I want to keep pushing forward. I want to be the best of what we are going to be, and not today, but in the future. I'd like to see uh, more families come into the system and have the same opportunity that we had to, to start with one store and grow from there to where they want to grow to and develop a, a business that they can pass along to their, 
sons and daughters, and then third generation as well.